Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be doing a video on how to reinstall Windows here on your computer with all the drivers and everything. So to do this, I will be using the HP Pavilion A450N. The reason I'm using this computer because sometimes it has issues whenever it's in sleep mode, it won't come on properly. And sometimes it screws up everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do show you what you gotta do. So let me go ahead and connect everything up. All right. I got the disc inserted. You want to insert your disc first, and turn, and make sure you turn the computer on when you insert your disc into your disc drive. And whenever you insert the disk into the disk drive, you should get a boot menu. It'll come up with this. So I'm going to be using Windows XP for this installation. And yes, this is a video request to install how to reinstall Windows on their computer because they wanted to show a video for their sisters to re so they can know how to reinstall Windows. So they can get everything. And I'm going to show you next how to get drivers for your system. So you're going to come up with this blue screen that you see here. Floating everything at the bottom corner. If my camera can focus here. And yes, this computer has XP Home Edition. So, it's loading everything. You just gotta give it some time. I'm gonna go ahead and stop for now. Okay, so, what you see here, this is very important. When you get to this part, you want to be careful because this is where the recovery partition where it says H HP recovery fat 32 you do not want to touch this so we're going to go down press the down button we're going to hit delete enter and L because the recovery partition is very important you do not want to mess with that. So we can go ahead and hit enter. Format with NTFS quick. Because when it, the only main thing you may need the recovery partition if you're giving it away to a friend or a family or somebody that's in need of a computer. You can always use that to put everything like to the factory settings. So let's go ahead and format in the drive. Depending on the size of your hard drive, it's going to take longer. So, okay, after the part, after the part you got through all the reinstallation, okay, what you're going to see is going to be detecting all your drivers. I'm going to go ahead and put my speakers on here so we can get some sound and music. So whenever it installs, ah! Well, I was trying to say when I, after the installation, whenever we go through XP setup, we'll hear the music, the setup music from the OOBE. And this is a good sign that we got color. <coughs> we got to make sure all the drivers are in place. If we're missing like drivers, then we got to uh, go to the HP site and get them. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing and show you what to do on the prompts. Now you'll get this part up when it, after it finished detecting all your drivers so you're going to go ahead and enter your name. I'm going to go ahead and enter the part owner's name. And after that you got to enter your product key. So let's go ahead and put the name of the computer and we'll put Linda PC. And enter a password for administrator. And 
time, let's set the time zone to be wherever, set your time zone wherever location you're at. So let's let it do its network installation here, and I'll get to you on the next part. After everything's fully installed now, I have the speakers on. You, uh, I was supposed to get music, but I don't hear no music right now because there's no sound driver yet. So we're going to go ahead and click, click next. And when we're going to choose the second one. So we could use automatic updates. Because after you reinstall Windows, you have to run the automatic updates. No, not at this time. You go ahead, you want to enter your name. But one important thing, you want to back up all your files onto like a special storage, like an external hard drive, like all your pictures and data. So we can put it back whenever you're finished installing Windows. And you get this big welcome screen. cases sometimes it may want to tell you that you it's, you got certain days to activate it so you want to go ahead and activate your software and install all your drivers so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it so everything's all freshly installed you see here let's see if we got internet yep and we got Internet Explorer 6 but but it's gonna be upgraded to Internet Explorer 8 I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do all that alright now this is the final part getting drivers now if you get drivers it uh, see if you go into the HP website Sometimes it can detect your computer. We're going to go ahead and get some drivers. Let's see, we got choose our operating system for sure. We got Windows XP. Close. So, that the only thing, it has all the drivers now. I need to get like the sound. Then you can choose all the updates and stuff. So we can go ahead and install the drivers and you'll be good to go. So that's some advice on installing Windows and you can go ahead and reinstall your software as well. Yes, and I'm, I'm going to upgrade Internet Explorer if I can get it through automatic updates. Because I got to do a lot of updating and put all the favorites back so I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys later and be sure to follow the prompts on driver installation alright see ya